I, guys, I'm not going to go over every single one of these. It would take up way too much time, but I do want to go over how to use the dichotomous key. Once you, I think, see how to use them, it may be easier to actually make them. What's up? Can you give us the names of all of them? I can do that. I don't have them written down right now, but I will, I will do that as you're doing your test review. Okay. So let's look at number one here. What we need to do is, again, when you were making these guys, you were able to separate them into groups and then into smaller groups and smaller groups and smaller groups based on structural characteristics. So if we're looking at number one here, we're obviously always going to start at number one of the dichotomous key. So the creature has a large wide head or the creature has a small narrow head. Where are we going to go? Are we going to go to two or are we going to go to 11? Two. We're, going to, we're looking at number one here. I can tell that that is not a large 11. wide head. That is a small narrow head. So we're going to go to 11. So if we're going to 11, that means we are going to go right to here now. So we're kind of choosing our own adventure. We get told us to go to 11. The creature has no antennae or the creature has antennae. Which one? Uh, has antennae. So we are going to go to step 14. So we're going to go right to step 14. The creature has two eyes or the creature has one eye? Two eyes. The creature has two eyes, so we're going to go to step 15. The creature has a mouth. The creature has no mouth. Has a mouth, has a mouth so we're going to go to step 16. Uh, there are spikes on the left leg, or there are no spikes at all? Spikes, spikes on the left leg. Legs. The first organism is Narrowest portus, is the scientific name for that creature. OK? No. These aren't real creatures. Joe, what's up? Uh, maybe it should be on the right side? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yep. All right. So now let's go back and look at number two. Number two. We always start at number one. It says, the creature has a large wide head. The creature has a small narrow head. Where are we going to go? It's got a wide head, right? So we're going to go to step two. Like it tells us to. Now, it has three eyes. It has two eyes three eyes. So we're going to go to step three, just what it tells us to do. So if we're going to step three, oh, it is on that page. Step three, uh, there's a star in the middle of its chest. Yeah, it is. So we're going to go to step four, just like it tells us to. Step four, the creature has uh, hair spikes or the creature has no hair spikes. Which one is it? No hair spikes. It's going to tell us to go to step five. We're going to go to step five. Uh, the bottom of the creature is arch-shaped, or the bottom of the creature is M-shaped? Arch-shaped. It stops here. It doesn't tell us to go any further. So therefore, it is broadus arches. That is the name of that creature. All right? So using a dichotomous key, I think it's easier than making a dichotomous key. Yeah. All right? I'll do one more. That way, people that didn't do the homework, I will give you late credit for doing it, since I'm not going to go over all of them. You're welcome. Happy weekend. Uh, number three. Starting at number one, are we going to go to step two or are we going to go to step 11? 11. 11. Step 11 because it's got a small, narrow head. So we're going to go all the way down here to step 11. The creature has no antennae or the creature has antennae? It has antennae, right? So therefore, we're going to go to step 14, which is here. The creature has two eyes or the creature has one eye? Two eyes. It says go to step 15. We're going to go to step 15. The creature has a mouth. The creature has no mouth. It has a mouth. We're going to go to step 16. Uh, there are spikes on the left leg, or there are no spikes at all? No spikes at all. Narrowest planus is the scientific name for that creature. OK? So any questions with those? I will end up going, while you guys are doing your test review, I will go through and fill out all of them. So those of you that have it done, if you want to check all of your, your work, you can do that by uh, at the end of the class today. So any questions? All right, so let me stop this.